Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS and Mongoose CRUD tutorial series. In the last episode, I implemented the search functionality. Before that, we have also seen create functionality and reading data. In this episode, we will learn how to update existing documents in a collection. That is the update functionality. This is part six of the series. If you have missed out on the previous episodes, I'll request you to kindly go through them so that you have continuity in your learning and you master the entire CRUD series with me. Today, we are going to implement the CRUD functionality. <coughs> so to implement the update method, update functionality, we will have to use the HTTP put method. So just to recap, for creating, we will use post. For reading data, we use get. For updating data, we use put and for deleting, of course, we will use the delete method. That being said, let's get started with our coding. So this is what we had implemented in the last episode, the search functionality where we uh, saw different variations of how to use it. Today, I'm going to write the update functionality. So I'm going to say router dot put put method and my endpoint will be slash contact slash ID again I'm passing a param because I will need a I'll need an ID of the document that I need to update <coughs> as always once we put async the first thing we will do is put a try catch this is extremely important of handling the errors gracefully response dot status 500 dot json message unable to update the contact all right so what happened now okay. and we are opening here and closing here just open it here and that should be good. <coughs> okay, what's happening? I just have to close it and then right and in the try I'm going to write the method first we will get the ID <coughs> of the document that we are trying to update. Okay. Once you have it you will also need the body that is the data right and once we have that <coughs> so I'm going to say updated contact equal to request dot body okay and once you get this then what we'll do we will write await contact dot the method is find by ID and update okay that's the method we are going to use find or you can also use find one and update okay that means find exactly one document and update it and this will take a param if you see here filter criteria that is the ID so you can pass like underscore ID is this that means I'm saying using the contact schema find one by ID that means find this ID <coughs> find a matching ID and then what do you do with it once you find it you'll pass the data that needs to be updated okay and then you are going to say if it's a new one you will create true if you don't find one create a new one and save it to true okay so I'm going to write dot then updated contact and dot catch error and console dot log error watch out for the spelling mistakes that's one of the most common uh, mistakes and I'm going to say JSON and message same message unable to update the contact all right and if it is successful then we are going to draw throw in a console log to just for debug purpose updated contact and give the response status as 
200 because we were able to update it successfully and give a message and say contact successfully updated okay so that's all it will require for us to work on the update functionality first put a try catch around it if something fails just send a message unable to update the record find the ID and then use find one and update method it will find one document and the second param is the actual data that we need to update with and we are telling if it doesn't find anything create a new one if it finds then send back the response and you can also send the updated contact <coughs> right here we are sending the updated contact as well if there is some error we will give 500 unable to update the contact that's it to run the program you would run the command node the file name dot js and that's our code that will be executed now so first I'm going to check what what data we have so I'm going to say API slash contact and get method so it will return me all the documents that are there in this particular collection I'm going to take this data and slash ID and we will put the body first name now let's update it and then last name okay so this is the document that I'm updating it already has the data so I'm going to take the first record and change its data email address some email at test.com okay so now see I'm updating the first record I'm taking this ID and passing it in the URL so these values should get updated I hit and the method that will be there will be put because now we are updating hit send and now you see the updated contact value the value is same in the ID it says contact successfully updated and it has updated the first name last name email and age right pretty straightforward use case there is nothing complicated about it you get the ID you take that particular thing using the schema we'll say find one and update and pass that value and write try catch and then right simple straightforward approach to update any documents in a collection okay you can add other things like validations let's say if ID is uh, empty or if it's null if ID then only do these all of that you can put okay uh, if not give an error etc etc so it's not just this but it can extend for further more and write that logic but this is the essence of it okay and yeah that's pretty much that you will need to update any document all right <coughs> in the next episode uh, we'll work on the delete functionality uh, very similar to how we achieved update same way we will continue building on the delete functionality i hope you're learning i hope you're having fun learning through the series join me in the next episode we will learn about deleting method deleting documents in a collection thank you